Hey everybody, yeah, um, I tried to do this earlier this morning, but of course I had to catch my bus, and then of course the background of the bus didn't really help, so I've decided to redo it, and I wanted to come on here, and you know, as we know, over the past 24 to 48 hours, we've been getting more updates on the whole Sammy Guevara, Andrade, El Idolo situation, and it seems that the original report was kind of retracted by those that initially reported. Uh, basically, the retraction was uh, the fact that it wasn't Sammy that initially started everything, although through the Twitters and social media he did, but the, physicali the physicality, I should say, was actually started uh, by Andrade. Yeah, Andrade basically told him, hey, on social media, he said, in, you know, in the last response, hey, I'll see you on Wednesday. I'll see you at Dynamite. And even though both had been told not to um, have any kind of, you know, physicality, you know, backstage, you know, like any, you know, fighting or anything like that, apparently Andrade decided to ignore that and confront Sammy. Now, to me, when I look at both, when I look and read and hear, both of these reports you know of course we're getting two different sides of the equation and to me the truth is in the middle of it the truth is in the middle it's like there are parts of the initial report that are true and there are parts of the updated report that are true and in the middle is the whole truth we just have to figure out what those parts what those parts are that are true to finally piece this all together and get to the bottom of it. Now, reports in the updated version say that Sammy tried to avoid fighting. Sammy tried to avoid fighting, if you will. Uh, Sammy said that when Andrade approached him and turned him around, I don't know anything, or, pro or called him out, Sammy decided to, I guess, after I, I don't know if they had a shouting match or what, decided to push him, and that's what initiated Andrade to do the hitting, you know, first, I, I don't know. But both men had been told not to engage in fisticuffs, basically, and Andrade, like I said, ignored that. And, again, we... We don't know who, you know, we don't know whose side to really believe because, again, I think when you read, hear, and listen to the details, you know, of the whole situation, you know, on both sides, you know, when you listen and hear the details of the situation on both sides, if you will, you know, from the initial report and the updated report, Again, like I said, in the middle is the true is the real truth. And they need to get to the bottom of that. They do. Now, did this have to happen? No. This did not have to occur. This did not have to be the focal point over, you know, Dynamite's three year anniversary, which a lot of people said, and I would agree, was a good, you know, uh, anniversary show, even though it was very ROH heavy. Or at least ROH inspired him, or whatever you want to call it. I will acknowledge that too. I will acknowledge, I will acknowledge that too. But, but Sammy, I'm not saying, but, but the situation with Sammy and Andrade, you know, overshadowed it. Just like that whole media scrum brawl with Punk and the Elite, you know, after All Out, overshadowed, overshadowed, I should say, a great All Out pay per view. The thing is, Tony Khan needs to get things together. He needs to get together. I mean, if there is any inkling, any hint that, hey, we might have a situation on our hands here, you know, come, you know, Dynamite or come Rampage or whatever or come an upcoming pay-per-view, Tony Khan needs to get things uh, together, we need to get things organized 
to prevent any of this from happening. You know, he does. He needs to get things organized to prevent any of this from happening. But he doesn't do that. He just lets it happen. Now, now, if I'm Tony Khan, when it comes to, you know, this all being ignited because of what Sammy said on Twitter, I mean, one of the things Sammy said to Andrade is, why don't you F off and go back to WWE? You know, or something like that. You know, if, you know, if part of this, you know, you know, as part of this, if not most of this, was started, you know, ignited because of what, you know, Sammy said on Twitter and everything, all because of the fact that Sammy had complained that Andrade hit him too hard in a match, and Andrade, in an interview, was asked about, okay, who, who do you specifically don't get along with in the locker room at AEW, who do you have heat with, and for him to say it's Sammy and say why that is, you know, they could have just left it as that. Sammy did not have to respond to it, as a lot of people have said. He did not have to respond to it, and yet he did. And that's what caused things to blow up the way, the way they did on Wednesday, not just on social media uh, the day or two prior, but on Wednesday at, Dy at the Dynamite tapings. You know, this is what caused things to, to blow up the way they did. And it didn't have to happen. All Sammy had to do was just, you know, keep his mouth shut, keep his fingers away from the keyboard of his computer or his phone or whatever he uses to uh, engage in social media on. All he had to do, all he had to do was just, you know, you know, was just ignore it. You know, just keep his fingers away from the pads, or away from the keyboards, if you will. You know, that's all he had to do, but he didn't do it. He did not do it. And it basically ignited, ignited the situation that we got. You know, it ignited the situation that we got that occurred at Dynamite, and, that, and it didn't need to be that way. Now, if I'm Tony... If I'm Tony Khan, I try to sit down with Sammy and suggest that, you know, he go radio silent on social media for a while. In other words, don't, don't type anything, don't text anything, you know, don't, don't respond or anything. You know, as, you know, as long as it, as long as it, you know, as far as, you know, as far as, you know, like the, you know, company goes, professional wrestling goes, my, if I'm Tony Khan, I suggest to Sammy to go radio silent when it comes to talking about professional wrestling on social media. That's what I would do, because he he had a tendency to you know say something he shouldn't. And if it's not Tony Khan, then I I need to be one of those leaders that you know took a stand after the whole brawl situation. You know, either it's Moxley. Danielson, or the guy that Guevara is in a group with on television, Chris Jericho. And I sit him down and I tell him the exact same thing. I tell him, look, stay off social media for a while. Go radio silent, you know. Or if you're going to be on social media, don't, don't talk about the business. Don't talk about, you know, the business and who you have problems with. You know, keep that, you know, to yourself. Keep it to yourself and everything and there won't be a problem just you know tweet or you know just tweet or you know facebook or instagram what you and ty are doing you know with yourselves or your family and all that and you know go from there just leave it at that that's what they need to do that's what they initially need to do or at least one of the leaders need to do they need to say something like that to get it across to sammy's face, or not face, but get it across the Sammy's, you know, skull in, in his mind that, you know, his, his prowess on social media when it comes to talking about professional wrestling and calling people out 
is going to land him in a lot of hot water, whether or not he wants to be part of the altercation that could follow or not. Now, as far as Andrade goes, you know, reports are going around that he wants to be out of his, he wants to be let out of this contract, and Tony Khan won't let him go. You know, Tony Khan basically says, "No, you're not leaving." Now, is that is that wrong for Tony to do? Is that wrong for Tony to do? Absolutely. Absolutely, it's wrong for him to do. Hold on for a second. Like I said, is it wrong for Tony to do? Absolutely, it's wrong for Tony to do. It absolutely is. Because of the fact that, you know, instead of be doing business the right way and figuring, well, if the guy doesn't want to be here, I'll let him go. You know, instead of doing things the right way, he's acting like a selfish, and I hate to say this about TK, a selfish, greedy little brat. That's what he's acting like. He's acting like a selfish, greedy little brat, a brat, I should say, that will not share his toys, or will not let others play with his toys. That's what it sounds like to me. And it shouldn't be that way with Tony Khan. You know, it shouldn't be that way at all. Tony Khan needs to show that he is more than just a fan, and if he doesn't start acting like a boss, put his foot down about this kind of stuff, sit them down and say, hey, how can we work this out? How can we fix this? And just, and instead, just let it go while he does nothing but promote National Scissors Day or what, National Scissoring Day or whatever. You know, it makes him look, it makes him look exactly what a lot of people, as I've mentioned before, and others like JD and just Alex and everybody else out there is now look, seen. Are now seen, you know, as well. And that's making him look like nothing but a fan. And you can't look like that. You can't be like that if you're going to run a professional combat sport business or a professional sports league of any kind. You can't. You got to be a boss. You got to put your fandom, you know, on the shelf indefinitely and be more of a boss and treat everybody equally. You no, know, and not show any peripheral treatment because you attended one person's wedding. And you drink white claws with him and your buddy buddy with him outside of the ring no you got to treat him equally you know you got to treat him equally now i said in the other video that you know there could be speculation and i'm sure everybody in aew thinks this way too that the reason sammy's getting peripheral treatment at times or staying out of trouble when he's been what part of the cause of it is because of not just tony khan but because of maybe Ty Mello, Ty Conte, if you will, giving Tony some, uh, I guess you could say, pleasurable fun. Now, I'm not saying that's true, but the mindset of anybody that takes notice of this, you know, that's going to be one of the first things, you know, they think of. And that's going to be one of the first things they think of. You know, when it comes to this entire situation of you know, all these other previous, you know, situations that Sammy's been part of. You know, whether he's caused it or he's, you know, whether he caused it, you know, purposely or, you know, he instigated it further or whatever. You know, people, you know, when he finds a way to stay out of trouble, people will look at something like that. And the first thing they'll think of is, wait a minute. You know, Ty's getting a lot of TV time right now and everything as well. They're both part of the JIS or the close friends with Jericho. Hmm, I wonder, and the close friends with Tony, hmm, I wonder if maybe Ty's giving Tony some pleasurable favors to keep Sammy out of trouble. Now, again, I'm not saying that's true, but that, you know, or any of that's true, but again, the mind will go in that direction. The mind will go in that direction. It will. And I can care, and I can say this. I can say this. If something like that turns out to be true, it's not good for Tony. That definitely does not make Tony Khan look good. If he agree, if he's agreeing to keep someone like Sammy out of trouble, even though he knows he should punish him, if Ty's giving him some pleasurable 
favors in return. That does not make him look good. It doesn't. And that's a fact. That is an absolute fact that they know of. And they should be ashamed of. But again, I'm not saying that's entirely true, you know, one way or another. It's just something that a lot of people's mindset, you know, will go to. You know, if this keeps happening, you know, stuff like this keeps happening, their mindset will go there. Their mindset will start thinking, you know, along those lines. And that's something, you know, that, like I said, that is something where people's minds will go to first. If this keeps, if something like this keeps persisting to where, you know, Sammy could get in trouble or be part of the situation, whether he initiated it or he didn't or he still or he spirited spurred it on or whatever you know it, it could get to a point it could get to a point where people will grow um very suspicious you know of the situation you know they they will they will grow um suspicious hold on for a sec had to take off my, uh, my my camera holder which I put a lot of my uh, stuff in a lot of my uh, chargers and stuff but anyway like I was saying it will it will cause people to start growing suspicious like there's something going on here that is not right and it, and their minds will start to tend will start to you know and you can't blame them blame them for this will start wandering in that direction of I wonder if Ty is giving favors, if you know what I mean, to Tony to keep Sammy out of trouble. And hopefully, again, hopefully none of that is in none of that is true. I'm not saying it is, it's just an opinion. But if stuff like this continues to happen, you can't blame people for having their minds go that route. It's it's a mindset that a lot of people go down, if you will. It's a mindset that a lot of people go down when they suspect, you know, somebody, you know, getting a promotion sooner than, you know, anybody else that more rightfully deserves it, you know, should, you know, more, more rightfully deserve that. What I'm trying to say is it's basically something that has always been a trend. It's always been, you know, part of business, no matter what of, Hey, this person suddenly getting all this peripheral treatment or they're getting this big promotion and yet they've only been here a few months and they barely know anything and all that and yet this person that's more deserving of it is getting slacked this person's getting blamed for stuff that's not their fault it's like what's going on and the suspicion will grow of hmm this person that's getting all this great stuff done for them has a beautiful girl you know, at his side, and she's always with them. Or if it is a beautiful girl, you know, you know, she's always seemingly meeting with the boss all the time, whether, you know, it's a LGBTQ thing or straight or whatever, you know, people will start, suspe start suspecting and being very suspicious of, hmm, I wonder if so-and-so is giving peripheral, tr is giving certain treatment to the boss or the boss is giving certain treatment to the girl girl or whoever not not necessarily the girl but whoever okay and as a result they're getting all these opportunities you know people's minds wander that way they go that direction believe it or not and when it comes to sammy's situation that could be something that people think of like i said i'm not saying that's entirely true and i'm not saying it's true at all but you know, it's something that, you know, if this keeps up over time, if this keeps up over time, the talent in AEW, which, by the way, you know, which, by the way, was not happy that Andrade got sent home and Sammy got to stay, you know, instead, as well as get the win in the main event. You know, they were not happy about that, period. 
whether or not, you know, people will tell them, well, Sammy didn't really start anything. You know, you can't tell me that like the audience there that told Sammy when he came out, F you Sammy, you know, and all that. You can't tell me the talent doesn't know in the back that Sammy's the one that initialized this whole thing on social media. You can't tell me they don't know that because they do. They do know that. And that is why you heard reports that they were not happy that Andrade, who probably they believe had justification to throw the first punch at Sammy for what he said and, and everything, was sent home and not Sammy. And because of that, their mind, I'm not saying all, it's not, I'm not saying they're already doing so, but over time, this being like the second occurrence, I mean, the first time with Eddie, now with Andrade, people will over time, you know, start thinking, you know, along those lines that I mentioned. And if it happens a third time and Sammy is cleared, but the other party who probably has justification for being angry with Sammy is punished, then that's going to get the wheels turning. That's going to get the wheels turning. There's no doubt about it. Now, as far as Andrade goes, you know, you know, he wants out of his contract, right? He has made it clear he wants out of his contract. He wants to go back to WWE and everything. Well, I'll say this. Whether he was justified or not, if Andrade is the one that initialized this fight, then I agree with people what, you know, people like Alex, you know, had said on his podcast. Triple H ain't going to tolerate that either. He's not going to say, yeah, I'm going to sign this guy even though I know he likes to start fights if he doesn't get his opportunities or if he feels someone's trying to derail him. You know, Paul Levesque ain't going to deal with that either. In fact, he'll be less tolerant of crap like that than Tony. Very less tolerant. But I've always, but I've always thought of this. Well, I didn't always think about this. But, you know, it's a thought that came to my mind recently. Came to my mind recently. We know that Triple H has been accused of having somebody on the accounting team um, contract accounting team, if you will, um, contact AEW talent and to see if they can try to get them to get out of the contracts and come back to WWE. Because you can't tell me Triple H is pissed at his talent that he was he had high hopes for on now working for this piss ant t-shirt company as he once called it. You can't tell me that doesn't upset him because it does. So you have to think to yourself. Well, if Triple H, you know, is a take no prisoners kind of guy and is willing to go as far as contract tampering to try to get some people out of their initial contracts uh, with all elite wrestling, then how far is he willing to go if somebody like, let's say, an Andrade wants out, period? How far is he willing to go? You know, is he someone that could, you know, suggest to Andrade hey, why don't you, you know, start a fight with Sammy and, you know, when you get to Dynamite uh, the next night and, or why don't you tell Sammy, hey, I'll see you the next night on Dynamite and go there and, and start a fight and I and everything and maybe that might get you fired. You can't tell me Triple H wouldn't be, you know, wouldn't be, I wouldn't say above, but you wouldn't, you, you can't tell me that Triple H wouldn't stoop to those kind of methods, if you will. He wouldn't stoop to those kind of methods to get his talent back, to get his NXT kids back home. You can't tell me he wouldn't do that because he would. Now, I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm not saying that's entirely true. I'm not saying it's true at all. It's just speculation and opinion. But if, he, but if he's willing to go as far as contract tampering, you know, to try to get his NXT crew back over to WWE and back home, like I said... You know, then how far is he willing to go? You know, how, you know, what, what tricks is he willing to pull out of his sleeve? What aces, you know, is he willing to pull out of his sleeve to try to make, you know, try to make a lot of these um, visions that he has to get his NXT team back home in w to WWE a reality? How far is he willing to go? I'm just saying so again, I'm not, I wouldn't put it past him. So again, I wouldn't put it past Hunter Paulovic to want to, 
to probably suggest that to um, someone like uh, Andrade after probably hearing himself of what's been going on. I'm not saying, but again, I'm not saying that's entirely what happened. If it happened at all, it's just an opinion speculation. But again, you have to realize Triple H is in a situation now where he's like, okay, I've got my power. I'm back in charge. Now, you know, I'm, I'm back in charge. Now, now it's time to take back what's mine. You can't tell me he doesn't have that mindset because he does. He does. He is a take no prisoners kind of person. I mean, he's got everybody talking about WWE more than AEW now. And that's ticked Tony off to the point that even if nobody that came from WWE request wanted to go back, Tony has said, hell no, you ain't going back. But again, that goes back to what I said earlier. Tony is acting like a kid, a selfish brat, if you will, that doesn't let anybody play with the new play with his toys and just keeps them all to himself. And he needs to grow out of that. But whatever the situation is, you know, between, you know, whatever what I'm trying to say is whatever the situation is with the Sammy between Sammy and Andrade. Like I said, when you hear, read, and look at each story that's come out basically each side of the story in the middle is the truth in my opinion in the middle the middle portion is the truth you just take what's the more believable side of andrade's story the more believable side of sammy's piece them together and you will get the flat out unbiased truth about what happened and again like i said if i'm a chris jericho if i'm you know, if I'm a Chris Jericho, you know, if I'm, you know, a Brian Danielson, a John Moxley, you know, if I'm any of them, if I'm any of them, heck, if I'm a Tony Khan, if you will, then I sit Sammy down and I tell him, look, as far as wrestling goes on social media, you posting about it, go silent, don't say anything. That would be my suggestion to him, in my opinion. That would be my suggestion uh, to him, in my opinion. So, those are just my thoughts on the updated reports about, about what's been going on between Sammy Guevara and Andrade. You know, a lot of the a lot of what I've said is my opinion of how I think maybe some of it came. You know, you know how some of it may have come about. What I truly believe is the truth being in the middle of both stories, you know, that being the stories of, you know, Andrade, Andrade's side and Sammy's side, you know, to me in the middle is the truth. And again, what I talked about earlier about why Sammy would get out of trouble, you know, why, you know, uh, you know, why, you know, Andrade would throw the first punch, you know, and all that, and maybe the suggestions and everything. The, the point I'm getting, at, the point is, the, the point I'm getting at, those are just my opinions. I'm not saying either, none of that, of what I think, like Triple H suggesting he start, the, he start a fight with uh, Sammy, be, you know, so he could try to get fired to come home, you know, happen. I'm not saying that Ty giving pleasurable favor to Tony to keep him out of trouble, you know, is true to, to any extent. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying any of, that's, any of that's true. It's just an opinion. But what do you guys think? Comment down below. Live chat during the premiere. Love to hear from each and every one of you on that. And until next time, guys, um, I will talk to you all later.